Got him. Oh man, I about lost my rod. Oh man, look at this thing. Hey guys, Chris Midwest Pass Hunter out here. Uh, just a few hours left before dark here. Well, two, well, maybe an hour and a half or two. And I'm out trying a new bait, the Savage Gear 3D Frog. There's the package. Here's the frog, it's a little different. Um, it's got these legs on it instead of the traditional uh, skirt type legs. It's only got a single hook. It's only got a single hook, so it doesn't have the dual hooks. Um, it's a nice size frog. It casts really nicely. Um, so we're going to try this thing out and see if we can catch anything on this thing today. There he is! A bunch of weeds. He's, he's not that big. He's a dinker. He's camouflaged. I got weeds all over my kayak. There we go. First frog of the night. Or <laughs> first frog. First first bass of the night. On the frog. Got him. <laughs> he sucked it right off the top of the water. In the open water. All right, all right, all right. Second fish on the Savage Gear 3D Frog. Or Frog, as my daughter says. Uh, not a big one. That hook actually works really nicely. A single hook is not a problem so far. Got him. Oh man, I about lost my rod. That's a pretty good one, I think. Oh yeah, that's a real good bass. Oh yes. There we go. That's a big one. It's not super big, but he's probably three and a, three, three and a half maybe. You just choked that savage 3D frog. This uh, this bait works pretty nicely. I like it. Um, sometimes I don't like these frogs with only one hook, but this one seems to do all right. There we go. That's uh. Well, I thought I had my measure in here, but I don't. He's a pretty good size. So this frog, get it untangled here. It's not your traditional frog. It doesn't have uh, 
you know, the skirt on it has these, these legs and only has one hook. But it's a soft body frog. It's sealed up pretty good, so it doesn't really collect much water. Um, and this single hook, um, I've had no trouble catching fish on it, so uh, it seems like a pretty good bait. This thing is a little bit spendy. I think it's about 10 bucks. I bought it a while back. I can't remember exactly how much it costs, but, but I think it's about 10 bucks. Savage Gear, their stuff kind of gets a little spendy once in a while. But not too bad. I mean, it's not outrageous. All right, thank you. All right, let's see how long this dude is. Almost 17, 16 and three quarters. So he's not huge, but that's a good one. It's a good bass for sure. Let's let him go. And he plowed that bait. He ate it pretty hard. Yeah, the legs on this, they don't really do anything special. They just flop around. Um, I thought maybe you could just reel it and they would just kind of paddle around and make a bunch of commotion, but it doesn't really work that way. You gotta work it like a traditional frog, pretty much. It's plenty heavy, so it's easy to cast. I like heavy lures, so I can cast them a ways. And it seems durable. I mean, I've caught three fish on it and it hasn't torn up. Some of them frogs, you know, you catch a few fish on them and they tear up right away. 